Yo, what's up guys? Delboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So where do we even start with this one? I guess I'll start by saying that Logan Paul has finessed boxing. Obviously last night he had his exhibition fight with Floyd Mayweather, went the distance, got paid a boatload of money, and his reputation and profile has been well and truly enhanced. Now, I've seen a lot of boxing fans vent their anger at this fight and fights similar to it. Obviously in the last couple of years or so, we've seen YouTubers basically invade the boxing scene. Whether that be them fighting each other, fighting MMA fighters, fighting basketball guys, or even fighting a boxer such as Floyd Mayweather. And a lot of boxing fans have voiced their displeasure and their disgust in regards to what is going on in the sport of boxing. And while I certainly agree with their frustration, I do disagree on the notion of blaming these YouTubers. Ultimately, this is not a problem in boxing. It's just really a symptom of a bigger problem. Let's be honest, let's look at boxing like a product. Let's think of ourselves as consumers. If boxing was a sport which was delivering all of the fights we want, year in, year out, and it was a sport which was fair and much cleaner in regards to corruption. Do you think there would be a place for fights such as this? If we was getting the best fights month in, month out, year in, year out, if there wasn't this corruption, if there wasn't all of these bullshit robberies, do you think boxing would have as much of a place for fights such as this? I don't think so, and even if they did happen, they wouldn't be covered by the boxing media in the way they are now. I mean, we have mainstream boxing publications covering Logan Paul versus Floyd Mayweather like it's a real fight. Did that go on in the early 2000s with celebrity boxing? Did the boxing websites at that time make articles about those celebrity fights like they did KSI versus Logan Paul? or Jake Paul versus Logan Robinson, Jake Paul versus Ben Askren, because all of the boxing sites were all over these fights in regards to content. They were covering these fights hard. You know, websites such as Boxing Scene, even certain YouTube channels were covering these fights hard. And if boxing was in a better place, if it was better managed, better run, and we was getting a much better product, year in, year out consistently, I'm certain that there wouldn't be such a place for these sort of freak show fights. But obviously we know boxing is run like a fucking circus, and as a result, that leaves a gap in the market for events such as this. And for boxing fans to blame the likes of Logan Paul and Jake Paul for capitalising, I think they're on the wrong end of a stick, to be honest. This is just a symptom of a bigger problem at hand in the sport of boxing. It's not Jake Paul's fault. It's not Logan Paul's fault. It's because of how this sport is run and how it's been run for numerous years. I hear boxing fans have the audacity to complain about Logan Paul and on the flip side, they're making excuses why certain fighters shouldn't take certain fights. Cough, cough, Joshua versus Usyk. Now again, that fight might happen and I hope it does. But the fact there are fans out there excusing why Joshua doesn't have to take this fight is a fucking embarrassment in itself. And these clowns then have the audacity to turn around and say, oh, Logan Paul's bad for boxing. Jake Paul's bad for boxing. They are neither good nor bad for boxing. In fact, if anything, they're good for boxing because if you get a symptom of an illness, you can then diagnose what that illness is and then treat it. That's all Logan Paul and Jake Paul are. They're a symptom of where boxing is at in 2021. And also you get these clowns on Twitter, calculate purses, TV viewing figures, pay-per-view numbers, and declare what fighter should get what, who's A-side, B-side, when more than likely these two big cunts haven't got two quid to rub together. But apparently Jake Paul and Logan Paul are the problem in boxing. Of course they're not. Even the so-called boxing fan base aren't even on the same page. You know, these guys are out here advocating for certain fights not happening. That's how fractured and how fucked up boxing is. Even so-called certain fight fans don't want the best available fights to happen. And again, I point to Joshua Usyk. That is the best fight available for Joshua. It's the best fight available for Usyk. And certain men out here are saying why that fight shouldn't happen. It's a fucking joke. That goes to show how fractured boxing is. 
not only from the promotional aspect, the political aspect, the sanctioning bodies, the drug testing, the bullshit robberies, but also the fan base. And again, people out here have the audacity to moan at Logan Paul and Jake Paul. Are you serious? Boxing's got far bigger problems. And these guys are only merely a symptom of those problems. So I've got no hatred to Jake Paul or Logan Paul. They're doing their thing, they're getting their money, they're having fun. I don't blame them. I mean, if I was in their position, I'd do the same thing, to be honest. How can you blame Jake Paul or Logan Paul? It's not their fault, it's not their problem. At the end of the day, why wouldn't you do what they do? As I said, you know, it's just a symptom of bigger problems in boxing. That doesn't mean I advocate it or anything like that. I've got no interest in these such fights. I've not seen Floyd versus Logan Paul. I've seen a couple of highlights on Twitter. That's really it. But I'm not going to sit here and say Logan Paul is the problem. Boxing's the problem. It's as simple as that. And um, one more thing as well. I, I heard a fight film actually mention this. A lot of people in boxing are actually, you know, advocating for these certain fights. People in boxing, boxing people, journalists, publications, they're saying that these sort of freak show celebrity fights are good for boxing, that they draw eyes to the sport. Now, when I first heard that, I kind of thought potentially there might be something in that. So, for example, when KSI fought Logan Paul, that was actually a pro fight and the main event. And on the undercard, there were several, like, real boxers, like Devin Haney. And at the time, I thought to myself, even if there's, like, a few, fo a few guys who watch that and they turn into boxing fans, it's a good thing. But when you think about it, like, realistically, the fact that boxing is turning to that to attract new fans to the sport, just goes to show what type of position boxing is in right now. I mean, like I say, if boxing was delivering great content, the fights we want, year in, year out, there's going to be, you know, a, a constant cycle of new fans coming into the sport, such as the UFC. I mean, when the UFC first started, you saw a lot of these freak show type of fights. Do you see that now? Of course not, they've got their shit together. They're giving the fans what they want for the most part on a consistent basis. Do you think you would get KSI versus Logan Paul in the UFC? In a sanctioned UFC fight? You know, fe uh, featuring a card with real fighters. Do you think you would see that? Of course you wouldn't. Yeah, you might see it in a lower MMA uh, promotion, but you're not going to see it in the UFC. I mean, really, listen... It is what it is, man, but listen, I've got no problem with these exhibition fights. I, I can't hate on Logan Paul or Jake Paul for doing what they're doing. If I could, I would do the same thing, and as would a lot of people. Ultimately, it's just a symptom of where boxing is at right now. And yeah, that's my opinion on this exhibition phase that is currently going on in boxing. I don't particularly have a problem with it. I accept it for what it is, you know? And, um... Yeah, I want to hear your thoughts below. What do you make of this whole exhibition phase? What are your thoughts on it? Do you have a big problem with it? Or like me, can you understand why this is happening? Share your thoughts below. It's been you guy, Del Boy. Peace.